Hello and welcome to this Factorio tutorial. My name is Negative Root and let's get cracking. I had a few requests to redo this little tutorial on the emergency steam backup generator. So a couple of people wanted to see it actually flick over to emergency mode. Now, without having an actual emergency, it's pretty hard to simulate. So I'm just going to run through it all again and then see if I can trigger it uh, through another means. Now, what this is is so that um, well, it's it's to try and get it so that the power network is either running on solar panels or accumulators when there's enough capacity. So right now in the daytime, you can see that I've got my 2,000 solar panels. They're making you know barely anything out of their total production capacity, and I've got a lot of accumulators. So what I want right is to run on this all the time because this is free energy. Okay, I don't have to burn anything. I don't have to do anything to get it. The, the sun or well, the star is there and it just creates my electricity for me. Now that works all fine and dandy until you have a situation where where basically your uh, your power isn't meeting what you need. Say for example it's probably unlikely in this but you know say there was a really really long battle where you know my 2000 laser turrets were just going you know, flat out for, you know, 12 hours or so, then my production of electricity wouldn't probably be enough. So I'd need some sort of backup. And a lot of players just get rid of this after they get past the middle game. Uh, I'm a fan of keeping it. So let's run through how it works. Now it's based on the fact that accumulators are the last thing to charge. So provided, provided there's enough power in the in the normal network, this is my full network, that'll charge that. Now this accumulator is also connected to this substation. Now you'll notice that this substation is running one and one only inserter. So follow through here. So if there is enough power in the network, this will be charged, which means that this is inserter will work. It'll put logs into the box. Now this is run off the normal network not this little sub network. Now the normal network is always going to be on. Inserters sit pretty high in the um, priority of things so that will always be working which means that this will stop working when we don't have enough power. That is to say we don't have enough power and we need our emergency backup. So I've set this smart chest to trigger uh, onto, sorry, I've set it onto the red wire condition that runs down here. Now basically we just need a way of knowing that there isn't enough power to run this so because this is always working at some point this will become zero when there's not enough power to run this okay so when we come down here we'll notice that I've got all my um, boilers being run by smart inserters so when I click on this I say look when there's less than one that is to say the box is empty okay that's when you're gonna pick up fuel to put in the boilers okay by putting fuel in the boilers, that will allow the steam engines to work and our emergency uh, generation to turn on. Now, let's see if we can trigger it. I've got one or two ways. I'm going to try this way first to see what happens. Okay, we're heading into night time as well. So here we can see we've got a accumulator. Our accumulator is going to run everything. Uh oh, this will run down shortly. So, hopefully, it'll. Mm -hmm. So this is where triggering it is hard. So I'm just going to put this back for a moment and try a different way. That'll set everything back off again. And what we'll do is we'll remove this one here to see if this works. This should work a little bit better. Okay, so all right. Now this this is going to run down eventually. It's going to be quite slow to run down too because it's not that much uh, power draw on it. And you watch to see what happens when it does. So we'll come stand over here.
because eventually this will run out of energy. Maybe we can speed that up a little bit by adding in some lamps. Five kilowatts. Just get a little bit closer. So we can see it's running down slowly. When it runs down and runs out completely, I'll just stand here-ish. Okay, so say that we've finally got to a stage where the poor accumulator isn't getting charged anymore. That is to say we don't have enough power in the power network. What will happen is this will stop working. That will stop putting wood in the box, which will make that zero. When's that zero, all these will trigger. So just watch. See that? Boom, off she goes. So now the boilers are like, oh, okay, shit, we got to work. Uh, let's get moving with that. Okay, and our steam engine is are now going. They're going flat out. If we click on this, we can see that we've got 35 steam engines pumping out 15 megawatts of emergency power. Now, the way this works is that when you ha have enough power, you see that we end up getting it back to where we were. So this will charge back up again. And this will all automatically turn off again once it's burnt the fuel that it had put into the boilers. Okay, so this this will go for a while now. This this will continue to work until it burns out of this uh, this material. And that is how the emergency power generation works. Hopefully, I've explained it a little bit better this time. Uh, something tells me I haven't, but. Uh, Play around with it. Have a bit of fun with it. See if you can get it to work. Uh, basically, all we need is some way of telling that we don't have enough power to power the accumulators. Once you've got that, you can then run a uh, red wire off of the smart box to then control your inserters. So when you don't have enough power, you want it to work. So that's all that, all the logic that goes into the system. And hopefully that, uh, that demonstrates the uh, emergency backup power. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you in the next one.